This is our big bad guard dog. <laughs> Good morning. It looks like it's a beautiful day outside. Good morning, Gabby. Hi. Morning. Looks like it's nice outside. Just gonna check on my plants. Ooh. It is pretty. Look how pretty that is. Clear blue skies. What is that? That looks gross. Sad thing about living on a corner lot is that everything flows down to our side. Oh well, doesn't matter though. I still enjoy being surrounded by water. I'm just checking on these guys over here and seeing if they're doing well. These are my um, DIY self-watering, self-draining containers. I'm currently building boxes right now, but everything looks like it's going good. Pretty flowers. Excuse the mess, gotta clean that up. Oh, these things. Sad story. Menards. They don't work. After like the first night, water seeped through these things and now they don't work. So, Yep. What am I gonna do today? Today, I'm gonna work on the boyfriend's bike for him, change out his ugly lights. Heading into the kitchen, all you get to see is the floor because the kitchen's very messy. It's always messy. And you know what, I don't care. Reason why, because I use it. I'm gonna put on my shoes, my pants are dirty because I was working in them this morning, last night, and I'll be working in them again. Heading out to one of my favorite places. Mm-hmm. The garage. You know, for a female, I spend a lot of time in this garage. <laughs> I spend more time in this garage than probably a lot of males, or in a garage in general. Today I'll be doing more stuff in this garage. Oh, hello. Well, aren't you beautiful? Mm-hmm. Pretty girl. Anyways, today, oh, these are the boxes. So the first one I did that you saw on the deck, that was just like my first box. Learned from a few mistakes. Last night, rebuilt these ones. This one is my water tower for my irrigation drip system. Yep. And then these are just regular planter boxes. I still got to build three more, two more the same size as this one, and one more that's bigger for the bigger one I have out there. But this is my water tower. And then uh, I decide to make a lid for it too. So where's the bucket? Oh, there's a bucket in there, and that will be filled with water. And then I um, DIY that bucket to have this spout here. It's hard to see, but you know, the drip system tubes will come out of here. There's little uh, on and off, you know, whatever. That was my project. Still gotta build three more, which I'll probably do later on today, but later. Today, right now, working on this one. The Beast. Beauty and the Beast. So this is BK's bike, his newer bike. Um, he left it home today so that I could work on it for him. Because even though he's going to watch this video, he's going to be like, what the hell? We both know who's the handier one between us. Other than my brother, it would be me. It would be me, and I really enjoy doing it. So what I'll be doing today to his bike is getting rid of these yeah getting rid of them because well they're just too sexy I mean look at them well this is one and there's one on the other side but I mean yeah too sexy gotta gotta yeah gotta get rid of it because I mean 
Isn't it just too sexy? Can't have him riding around looking too, too sexy. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Uh, I'm gonna replace them with uh, these guys right here. These are just regular flush mount. They're smoked. Flush mount turn signals, it'll be pretty easy to do. They are plug and play, so easy peasy. Just gotta pop off that fairing stick these guys in, plug it in, and that is it. And if I have time, I will do this. This is just to get rid of that, you know, that ugly stock tail. This is um, integrated tail light. Also plug and play. This here, this here. If you have a motorcycle or motorcycles or whatever, any spare pieces or parts, I have them here. and. This is me, okay? This is not the boyfriend. BK's not involved in this at all. This one right here, and I got this one back here, is just filled with like bolts and like extra pieces, you know, nuts. Uh, I got some extra washers and zip ties and rubber washers and even these for electrical stuff. Fuses. It's just good to have this. I mean, any bike that we've ever had and any extra pieces, I've always thrown them in here, separate them up, because you know what? <laughs> Bolt replacement kits are not cheap, for one. And number two, I mean, if you have common sense, and I, you never know, like, what if a bolt falls off or a nut falls off your bike? I mean, right here, you got a replacement, because you can't always get the right pieces at, like, a hardware store. So it's always good to, you know, have something like that. And then, moving on, crack phone screen equals a tablet now. <laughs> um, if I have time, these are front and back pegs. I'm going to put them on my bike if I have time. And then, again, more time. Um, I'll help BK put these on his bike. It's just a clutch handle and a brake lever handles, you know, whatever. Um, you know. You know, to put it on that CBR to make it look extra pretty. Nothing special about them, just regular livers. And I have them as well, different style for my R6 that I gotta put on because, I mean, it's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong with the stock ones. Nothing wrong with the stock ones, but my girl here lost her little ball and Let's face it, I'm a girl, okay? Like, I don't want to ride around broken shit. <laughs> oh, and then this is the reason why pegs need to be replaced because, again, it's not a big deal, but sometimes I wear pants that are like this or, you know, short, and this hurts. So that's what I got going on today. Um, other than that, here's a little pan view of a garage, the flooring and stuff I did on my birthday, my last birthday. I told you, I spent a lot of time here. Oh, all this greenery right here is Mother's Day presents. It's Friday, it's beautiful outside. If you got a bike, I suggest you get on it, enjoy that weather because <laughs> it's Minnesota and fact of the matter is you never know. We might get a snow blizzard next week because that's the kind of shit that happens with this bipolar place. And that's what I've learned in the last few years that I've lived here. So other than that, if I have anything else, I will throw it into this video. But for so, now, it is now later in the night and I'm a noob. I forgot to record the process of this, but lucky I didn't because it took me, oh my gosh, forever and a year. These fairings were not easy for me to get off. I mean, it might be easy for other people to get off, but I don't normally work on a CBR. My first bike was a Kawasaki. My current bike is an R6. So I was just doing this for the boyfriend, BK, while he was at work. And let me tell you, it took me like an hour to figure out what needed to be removed. And then it took me about another hour to get them removed. Like it. It was not easy. I'm thinking these things would just pop off, it'll be easy peasy, done, you know, but it wasn't easy. But the good thing is that 
those uh, sexy guys are gone. <clears throat> and I got those flush mounts in. Sorry if my voice is a little whatever. We just got back from dinner. So these guys are just here chilling. We like to keep everything. I like to keep everything. They'll probably end up up there with my, those were my stock, my stock tail lights. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Anyway, so that is them. I mean, the install was really quick. It took me like a couple minutes because I, like I said, they were plug and play. And, um, They work. There's the left. There's the right. And then probably tomorrow I'll get working on this thing here. Get rid of those guys. And then put in the integrated. But other than that, that is it. Sorry I forgot to. I mean, it's an easy process. I'm sure it's common sense. <clears throat> Unplug the old ones, plug in the new ones, you know, no biggie. And that is it. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some videos or some moto vlogs up. We'll be riding around a little bit, doing some errands. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Meanwhile, tonight, oh yeah, I got to finish the three boxes here. And then tomorrow, when I get some time, I will start prettying these guys up. You know, Mother's Day, Sunday, don't forget to uh, <laughs> pick up your mom something if you got a mom or a grandma or a sister that's a mom or whoever, you know, it's a nice thing to do. Other than that, peace from me, LaVita, and um, yeah, hopefully I can get some more videos up. I'll try, I'm, I'm trying to put one up a week. This is the first basically vlog because there's no right here and then I gotta clean this mess up to here and get this all tidied again. But yeah, so peace again. Enjoy the weekend. Ride safe. Don't squid.